Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte X870E Aeros Pro Ice Motherboard. That's a long name. Alright, here's the SATA cable. Here's the antenna for the Wi-Fi. Here's the little mic if you want to do a silence or have the motherboard hear the noise. Here's the G connector for connecting the front panel. Some stickers, if you want to add some stickers for extra performance. And the motherboard. If you're looking to do a white build, I think this motherboard is the best motherboard there is for an AM5 socket, AMD socket. I will be using this motherboard for a PC build and I will be using the freshly announced AMD 9800X3D, the best CPU in the world. I really like how Gigabyte was so detailed in even doing all the connectors white and they made the entire board white and silver. There's very tiny dark colors so they were really thorough on making sure that they can make this the most white possible. This motherboard is very do-it-yourself friendly, especially if you're new and don't know what you're doing. It has a lot of things to help you, like the debugging zone with LEDs and the uh, displaced numbers for error codes. It has easy to connect PCI Express, which will help. It has easy to connect M.2s, which is gonna help. It has all the connectivity that you'll need to connect fans, USB to the front and on the back. It has all the connections that you might need on a motherboard. This motherboard comes with big heat sinks to keep all the important components cool. And it has a great heat sink for the M.2. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you're installing this motherboard, one of the screws is underneath the heat sink. So you will need to remove it when you're installing the motherboard on your PC. This is the motherboard that I'm going to be running in my main PC. So I will be doing a lot of testing and playing a lot of games with it. I will hopefully be getting the NVIDIA GTX 5090 or AMD version. Hopefully if they make their graphics card be as good as the 4090, they'll be good enough and I will support AMD and buy their graphics card. It all depends on how strong it is. So if you want to see more videos in regarding that, subscribe and I will be showing a lot of videos with this motherboard. Once I get my hands on the new 9800X3D processor from AMD, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos of overclocking using Gigabyte's new X3D Boost. And since I'm doing a water loop, there should be a lot of room for uh, overclocking. The backboard has more than enough uh, USB connections, more than I will need. Plus, I'll have a USB hub inside, and if I need to, I can always install another PCI Express USB hub, but I, I won't be needing that. And that was the overview of the Gigabyte X870E Aeros Pro Eyes motherboard. And now we're going to install a Crucial T700 NVMe SSD Gen 5 and a Corsair Dominator Titanium DDR5 RAM. It's two sticks of 32 gigs each for a total of 64 gigabytes and it's rated for 6,000 megahertz. This is the, probably the best speed for AMD platform. The SSD is a Gen 5 NVMe that's rated at 12,400 megabytes per second. It's four terabytes, which should be more than enough for what I need. When installing the NVMe, don't forget to remove the plastic protection from the thermal pads. Add 
And now I'm ready to install the motherboard and the PC case. Normally I would install the CPU before putting on the PC case, but since I don't have it, I'm going to install it now. And then once I receive the 9800X3D, then I will install it after. And I will also be installing the water block on the CPU after as well. When installing your motherboard, don't forget about the one screw that goes underneath the NVMe heatsink. The motherboard looks great on my white PC case. They really go well together. When looking around for motherboards, I found that this motherboard was the board that had the most white for the AMD platform. Can't wait to have it running and shredding some FPS. Now I have the task of finding all the other parts for the PC that are also white or I will need to uh, paint whichever ones are not white, white. So hopefully I'll find everything that I need. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.